So I'm genuinely asking, are all these pieces of claim and propaganda and Putin just that propaganda? Is a broken, diminished, diseased, dying Putin just a Western wet dream? You know, that's a real question we should ask and what better occasion than day 100 of this war to ask it. Claim number one, and this is where it all began. The West started by saying that Putin is just muscle flexing. He never plans to invo invade. He is just trying to signal the world. The reality is we are currently on day 100 of a very violent invasion and war of Ukraine. So that's one Western claim that has been busted. Number two, Putin is undergoing cancer treatment. Just after these reports emerged in the Western media, he appeared in public suggesting that his health is actually okay, though it's not really known what his health condition is. Western claim number three, Putin losing his eyesight rapidly. This was a claim that was made by a Russian spy but when Putin actually emerged, he went and met people, shook their hands just after this report came out. No apparent indications, even by experts, that there was anything wrong with Putin's eyesight. So that's another thing that's been debunked. Western claim number four now, that there could be a coup at any time to depose Putin. Putin's days are numbered in the Kremlin. Well, Putin is fully in control of the military and the government, at least so far. No signs of any coup. He's got an iron fist, whatever you may say of him. Western claim number five that went viral and was reported all over the world. Let's move to number five. Western claim number five was that Putin has survived an assassination bid. This was spread in the world media to make it look like Putin has enemies within, that his days are numbered, he is vulnerable to his own people. Putin has interacted with crowds on Victory Day where there was no apparent you know, special security. With crowds, he was right there. So what's the big deal about an assassination bid? That signal has also been uh, established. Western claim number six, Putin's appearance is worsening now because Botox is no longer available. They wanted to kind of defame him, make him look silly, someone who injects Botox. He appeared in public a few days after those, video, those reports went viral. Didn't look like he uses Botox. At least many experts also agree with that. Claim number seven, Russian military is in mutiny against Putin. Well, the Russian mutiny, uh, military certainly isn't in good shape in Ukraine, but there certainly has been no sign or proof whatsoever of any kind of mutiny. So that's another piece of Western propaganda against Putin that has been debunked. And finally, that a battered Putin is looking to find some kind of an exit from Ukraine. And that brings me back full circle. It's been 100 days of this war and that war is not coming to an end. So anyone who said that Putin on day 50 would be looking for an exit, victory day would be looking for an exit, well, it sim simply hasn't happened just yet. Gaurav Savant is with us live, and I'm going to go across to him in just a moment on the story. Yeah, Gaurav, you know, we've just listed all these pieces of reportage in the western press mostly that have all gone viral they've been reported so widely cancer eyesight being lost mutiny assassination coup you were in ukraine so you were able to consume all these pieces of propaganda in the west you know it may be a provocative question but we have to ask it putin's smiling he's in control seems to be healthy all a western wet dream what's going on so there are some images that are going very viral. Yeah. What are those images that are going viral? One, um, a, a Russian drone with an oil, uh, uh, you know, on, uh, with a water uh, bottle yes. uh, to, to show fuel. And they're saying this is how bad Russian equipment is. Or Russian T-90 also going up in flames uh, in, in Ukraine. Or Russian T-72s and armored personal carriers being destroyed. And they're saying that the Russian armor is failing. Or the sinking of Moskva. That, that was a huge blow uh, to Moscow. While Russia did take those blows and while some of the Russian aircraft, including Su-30s and Su-34s, uh, went down in, in this battle. But Shiv... 100 days later, yes. what's the ground reality? 100 days later, the ground reality is Ukraine is no longer in control of 20% of its territory. One-fifth of Ukraine is now in Russian control. Ukraine no longer in control of the Sea of Azov. Ukraine no longer in control of almost 90% of its industrial belt. So who's, who's really losing here and who's, it's, it's such a stalemate where Ukraine is actually backed by NATO yeah. and, and Russia is fighting on its own. 